Hey guys, this is Libby at SciTech Discovery Center. As part of our science series, I'm going to show you something really cool that you can do from home. The great thing about this is that it uh, requires no supplies except for your computer and a mouse if you have one. And it's pretty much impossible to make a mess with this. So um, today I'm going to show you a little bit about Tinkercad. Tinkercad is basically an online CAD software. CAD software, if you haven't used it before, is basically what people use for 3D design, whether that's for 3D printing or for 3D animation. It's a really great skill to have and it's really a lot of fun. Um, so the great thing about Tinkercad is that it's free. You can go online, make your account, and it even has these introductory tutorials that you can go through that are really, 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 really helpful. Um, but I'm going to show you a little bit also of what you can do on the website. So um, if you go in, you'll open your page and you'll have your work plane. Um, and if you're going to be 3D printing, you can kind of think, think of that as the bed of your 3D printer. That's what you're going to be building on. So you can go through, look at all these really cool shapes. If we go to our basic shapes, um, there's all these great, you can kind of think of those as like your building blocks of what you want to create, right? So if we pick a shape we like, we can drag and drop that onto our building plane. And then let's say, let's do another polygon. Now we have our two items that we've lined up together. Let's say we want to make that one item. We can drag our mouse across both items, make sure they're both selected. And then we go up to our group function and we group those items together. Now we can change the size and dimension of both those items at the same time and they will be grouped together. Um, so that's really useful if you want to, let's say, like recreate a shape around you or make, make an item. Um, it's really useful to use that group function. You also have this really great character page where we can select characters. Again, everything is drag and drop. And then we can add cool features like, let's say, sunglasses um, or whatever you want. So if you're interested in 3D animation, that's a great place to start because you can create characters, um, focus on their design, focus on like making them move and making them um, uh, kind of have settings and things like that. So it's a really great start. It's a really great introduction into the world of 3D design. I highly recommend it to anyone who has any interest in 3D design.